Hey guys, just want to stop in right quick. I just got through shampooing and conditioning my hair. I have it on a ponytail right now because I just thought about this. Um, I know a lot of you guys would like to have long natural hair, but I'm here to tell you, long natural hair runs up your water bill. <laughs> so if you want to like shampoo, condition, and pre-poo, and, and if you want to do a, um, like an ACV rinse and stuff all in the shower, let me tell you, when you got long hair, it, it runs your water up your water bill and stuff up and especially if you don't turn the water off in between sessions so I used to shampoo my hair condition it and do everything in the shower that was a couple years ago but my hair has gotten more dense and um, longer since then and no I don't do it in the, in the shower anymore uh, that's because I was really lazy I'm still lazy but now I just have to just deal with it and what I do now is shampoo and condition and I do it in my sink and um, there's my sink right there. I do it in my sink and that way that can give me a chance to turn my water on and off in between processes. Okay, so tonight all I did was pre-poo my hair, which is nothing but a conditioner and um, conditioner, jojoba oil and aloe vera juice mixed together. And then I um, did a shampoo with my Shea Moisture No Retention Shampoo. Not retention. My Shea Moisture Retention Shampoo, non sulfate. And then I did a, a deep treatment mask conditioner uh, with my Shea Moisture. And I decided that I probably won't buy any more Shea Moisture mask, any more mask conditioners, period, because I don't like the texture of it. It seemed like the texture of masks, conditioning masks, are sort of rough. I don't like that feeling since ever since I've been using my Miss Jessie's. Vanilla smoothie. I like the way that feels. It makes my hair feel smoother. But this is the way my hair looks right now. And I have not detangled yet. I have not detangled any. <laughs> but yeah, oh, and if you detangle and finger detangle your hair in the shower, girl, you really gonna have a high water bill. So when I was doing my hair in the shower and doing everything like detangling and stuff like that, it was taking me about an hour. Woo! An hour. That water bill is like Sixteen thousand dollars. I said I ain't got no sixteen thousand dollars. Somebody got the water bill wrong. You feel me? So yeah, guys, this is what I'm doing on a Saturday night. And hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm I'm excited. I got my hair shampooed. I just got through. Uh, well, on my on my last shampoo session, I blow dry my hair out. So I needed to add moisture back in my hair. And I don't know what I'm gonna do with it next. I know I gotta. Moisturizer sealer with oil and moisturizer and stuff. But yeah, guys, that's what I want to tell you. Hey, you all be wanting this long natural hair. I'm telling y'all, it, it's work. It's beautiful, but it's work. And every day, every time I do my hair, I, I think about cutting it. I'm not going to cut it. I just been thinking about, if I could just cut it like right to here, I'll be happy. And I don't know what I'm going to do once my hair gets to tailbone length. If I make it that far, because I might be changing my mind. Okay, I ain't going to change my mind. <laughs> Gotta stick to it. So yeah, guys, just want you to know, long natural hair takes up more water, more products, more time, more everything. Yes, it's gorgeous. Yes, it looks good. Hey, but you gotta sit like four hours away just to do your hair. And this is what I do on some Saturday nights. All right, guys, peas and hair grease. So sick of these old no four C haters. I'm not even. I don't even claim 4C hair no more. And they still talking about some 4C hair back from 2014. I didn't realize it was that serious. 